Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then welcome to my channel. So in today's video we are going to discuss or chit chat about few products which I've been loving recently. And there's just one product which I'm not so fond of. So yes, we are going to chit chat and discuss all of those. So if you're interested then please keep on watching. Right, so first I'm going to start with a product which I've used the most in past, I guess you can call it one month and it is um, Nykaa's foundation I have it in the shade 02 I have done an entire video on this versus their liquid foundation if you haven't watched it I'll put a card over here click on it you can directly go over there and watch the entire video I've talked everything in detail coverage finish how it lasts everything in detail but I have to say that this is I mean look at it okay let, let me just start from the beginning I have used up pretty much half of it and I have half of it left um, and this matches me very well for some reason I know I have mentioned it in my other video as well regarding this but I thought this would be quite light on me but um, the undertone the shade matches me very well I'm not wearing it today but it's it's a foundation which you can grab on the go whenever you're running late it's it's a very good foundation to reach for that's why i've been using it pretty much every single day uh, because it's very easy to use you can just you know put few stripes across your face and you can just blend it with your fingers as well and the coverage is quite nice um it looks very natural like it's the coverage is a very natural coverage the kind of coverage you would want on a day-to-day -day basis it's not very light but at the same time, time. But at the same time, it's not extremely heavy either, and that's why I like it a lot. Uh, you can layer this, and you can increase the coverage if you want to. Uh, it's a very good foundation for um, combination skin type. It's a, it has a very soft matte finish. I've been using this pretty much every single day, and I had to mention it. I mean, I cannot do my favorites without mentioning this, so this had to come. Uh, in the very first place again if you want to watch or want to know everything in detail about this product click on that and um, you can watch everything so this has to be my first favorite so next few products are again by Nykaa I think I have oh my god I have four or five Nykaa products but anyways I'm not getting paid to talk good things about these um, I just happen to like these products a lot so next are these liners by Nykaa again. This one is the Get Inked eyeliner. This one is Get Inked. The one with a uh, very fine tip is Get Inked. And the other one is Get Winged eyeliner, which is which looks something like this, which has a very um, kind of like a marker tip, if you know what I'm saying. Um, now, I have to be honest, I like both of these equally. I cannot recommend you one over the other. Both of these I like for different reasons. This one which is get winged, I like it when I'm running late and I don't want to figure out what kind of a wing I want to make. Um, it almost acts like a stencil. I don't know how to explain it because it's a liner, how can it act like a stencil, right? But it does, like it, I don't know, I think it's the shape of this. I hope you can see it. But just, um, I think the shape has to do with how easy it is to make the liner on the go so I always grab this one when I want to make a winged eyeliner and I'm on a hurry I'm running late this one is amazing but with this one which is get ink the fine tip one you can make your wing the way you want you can make a droopy wing you can make a very high wing it's like any other liquid eyeliner but with this again you have to, uh, you just end up having a similar style of winged eyeliner if I'm making any sense I know I'm confusing but uh, I hope you got my point so yeah I like both of these for different reasons get winged is when I'm running late and I still want to have a winged eyeliner look going on get inked is when I have time and I want a certain type of wing on my eyes but regardless both of these work very well and both of these last a very long time unless of course if you're rubbing your eyes vigorously um, so these are my next favorite next uh, let's talk about something which is not from Nykaa because I have a lot of Nykaa products here. So, um, let me start by saying this, that if you have been uh, watching my channel for a while or if you have watched any video of mine where I've talked about or where I've reviewed this product, you would know that my only complaint with this has to be the fact that this exaggerates a lot of things. 
um, this just um, exaggerates the corners or any dryness if you have or if you have whiteheads issue if you have bumpy nose um, I don't know if you guys face that problem but I face it I mean I don't have visible blackheads but I have bumpy nose most of the time it exaggerates that as well and um, that's the only problem I have or I had with this foundation until I started using this foundation with this primer this is pack zero pore separation primer yes zero pore separation primer in number zero one and i'm mentioning the number zero one because i'm sure they have another one which is um orangey or creamy in color i don't know about that i've never tried that but um now this one this primer by pack i bought it long back like way back and i remember not really liking it like um first thing first i hate the packaging of this primer like okay even if i'm just ignoring this packaging the fact that uh, the primer is like when you get it new when you have this brand new primer when you open it and when you try closing it all of the primer just leaks out and the primer itself is like i don't know how to explain it it's it's like oil <laughs> it just uh, feels like oil when you touch it um and when I bought this, I was like, okay, it's nothing special. It's very goopy. It's very thick in consistency. Like, it's it's a clear primer, of course. Wait, let me show you. It's a clear primer. So I just, I was like, okay, what is so special about it? It's very goopy. It's very thick. It takes a lot of time to absorb or like set into your skin. So I didn't really like it that much. Uh, I just thought, okay, it's another clear primer. Nothing special. Feels very oily on the skin. Um, until I used this primer and I went with this foundation. Now, because this primer is very um, thick in consistency, it kind of made uh, my nose or my T-zone very smooth. And after I went with this foundation, this foundation looked flawless. Like I had no issues with how this, you know, makes my pores look large or the dry skin look worse i just had no issue with this once i paired this foundation with this primer now talking about this primer alone i'm on a love hate relationship with this because i don't like how goopy and thick it is but because of being that goopy and thick it works well with this foundation so yeah um i had to mention this because i've recently discovered this combination and i thought okay what if people <laughs> Are suffering with this foundation the same way I am and I just thought of mentioning it um, next I have a skincare product now if you guys follow me on Instagram you would have seen uh, this skin therapy oil from cocoa butter I just randomly picked it up uh, I don't think it was random I think it was because it said anti acne and it helps in um, clearing out your acne marks and it just promised a lot of stuff on Nykaa and I think that's why I bought it. I don't really remember why but um, yeah but I know for a fact that it promises a lot like a lot of things. Uh, it's anti-aging, It's uh, it prevents acne. I don't know if it prevents acne or not but it does promise that it's going to lighten up your acne scars and all of that and that's why I picked it up. As you can see I have used uh, more than half no half of it and I've been using this since past I guess one or one and a half month and uh, it just breaks my heart to say that I noticed no difference with my acne scars no difference at all uh, but again I don't use it anymore for my acne scars I use it as a facial oil and that way it works well. With this, I just take one drop or maximum two drops. Um, I just rub it between my palm and just pat it onto my skin. And that way it works well. In a sense, it just works as a good facial oil in providing hydration and keeping my skin supple. Um, I don't see any other noticeable difference with acne or anti-aging, which I mean, of course, I'm not supposed to see any difference with anti-aging right now. But with acne marks and all, I personally did not see any difference. However, I'm not saying that you shouldn't try this. Uh, it might work differently for you. It's a skincare after all. Um, but yeah, I have been using this for past one and a half month and my skin has been on the dry side. So this works uh, well for that purpose. You know, it just uh, calms down the dryness and 
keeps um, my skin very hydrated and supple so for that I do really like it but apart from that uh, it did not work for my acne at all okay so the next product is again from Nika and it is this pencil their brow chica wow pencil now I know what you guys are thinking if you have watched my Nika haul you would know that I did not like this pencil uh, when I hauled it I did a try on haul when I got this and I still stand by what I said in that video I mentioned that if you like a very natural eyebrow look, you wouldn't like this. But if you like to um, redefine your eyebrow or give them a different shape altogether, this would be a good option. And back then, when I did that video or when I made that video, I was not into redefining my eyebrows at all. I would rarely take extra minute to do something with my eyebrows. But now, after what, 3-4 months, I'm all about eyebrows. I don't know if you guys can... Um, Tell, but I take extra minute to do my eyebrows these days and um, that's why I've been liking it um, even now I don't use it on the inner corner of my eyes because that way it just looks very harsh very artificial very drawn on drawn on drawn on drawn on you get the point but um, the way I use this pencil is I just use it on here like on my arch and all the way till the bottom of my eyebrow and that way it just gives my eyebrow a very uh, defined shape and on the inner part of my eyebrow i use an eyebrow powder and that's the only way i can use this product in a sense i can get the definition i want in my eyebrow with this product and not um, have my eyebrows looking very artificial so like defined eyebrows i think you should get this but again uh, be careful with how you're using it on your inner eyebrow part. It might look very sketchy, very artificial. Okay, so let's talk about a few lip products. I have two lip products which are my favorites. And there's one which I almost regret buying. Um, so first one is by Nika. I know a lot of Nika products, but trust me, Nika doesn't know who I am. So <laughs> there's no point of sponsoring or getting paid for talking about their products. Um, Okay, coming back, uh, I have Naughty Nude by Nika and this is not any uh, new launch from Nika but I have to talk about this because for some reason this color lasts the whole day on me. Even when it starts to fade away, it just leaves a very nice stain on my lips and it almost looks like I have lipstick for the entire day. I don't know what it is, I have their... Um, other shades as well for example dope thrill i have proline cookie i have other shades as well but for some reason this shade which is a naughty nude oh my god i was about to break it this shade over here it lasts the entire day on me and that's the reason why i've been reaching out for this lipstick this particular shade um, because it's very moisturizing does not dry out your lips if you want to get rid of the excess shine you can always blot it that's what i do and even then it lasts for a very long time so this has to be my first favorite and then the next favorite is um, Touch of Spice by Maybelline again these are no way new lipsticks but these are the lipsticks which I have been wearing the most um, it's one of the sophisticated kind of a mauvey pinky color which I think everyone must have in their collection it's such a gorgeous sophisticated everyday color um, goes well with almost all the colors especially with blues and everything it just um, you know ties together your look and this is the next color which I've been wearing a lot um, does not last that long though but I still use this quite a lot so I have to mention this and the next lip product which I almost regret buying is this by Nika this is Pout Perfect in the shade Nude Me Not now when you swatch this you are like okay it's not bad it's a nice nude color but once you apply it without any um, without any makeup on it looks like nothing like whatever shade you are choosing either let it be a bold lip color or nude lip color it, its purpose has to be it has to brighten up your whole complexion but with this I don't know it just looks very dull I mean I get it you might say that hey it's a liquid I mean it's a nude lipstick and you're only supposed to use it with like a 
like a smoky eye or something i totally agree but even with a smoky eye it does not really look that great i don't know what it is i recently did a look uh with pack palette and in the first look you would see that i was wearing this color and i again changed it to naughty nude by nike now both of these are nude colors uh even though this is quite peachy but whatever it is i mean this just does not look that flattering on me that's that's my whole point uh regardless of full face of makeup or not it just does not look flattering and the formula itself is very waxy like when you swatch it it almost feels like waxy and oily it does not last that long either so i guess the way i'm going to use it is um as a contour shade probably because i think this is one of the pencils which can be used for lips as well as cheeks so as a lipstick i'm not such a big fan of but I guess I'm going to have to use it as a contour shade and probably I'll let you know how this works. And the last product I have is by Nykaa again. Um this is their nail polish. What is this? Nail enamel in the shade Uh this is in the shade Mango Slush. This is the shade I have right now. I rarely feature any nail polish in my videos, but I just had to mention this because For the past few months, or probably an year, I had been only using a uh, darker colors, and I've recently bought like four or five of their lighter colors, and I've been really liking um, this color in particular. This is Mango Slush again. Um, it's it's a very pretty. I don't know. My my lighting is not that great, but it's a very beautiful. Um, I don't know, yellow, but not really yellow, um, and that's why I really like it a lot. I cannot really talk anything else about a nail polish. I just like the shade and that's why I wanted to talk about it in this video and those are all the products which are my favorite and this one not so much. Um I hope you guys enjoyed uh this video and all of the products which I have been loving recently. Do let me know your favorite. I would love to know any favorite it can be. It can be your makeup favorite, lipstick favorite. skin care favorite any favorite um and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video till then take care bye guys